All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or Chakadash, which Yahweh, it's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and or Chakadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I just want to get into a uh, lesson on this article that I saw. And um, it's basically about this guy who um, jumped from the 16th story of the Trump Tower out here in Chicago. All right. And um, starting with uh, Elder Malcolm, this is the first um, person I heard say this. Uh, years and years back that you know these Edomites in particular but not only just these Edomites you know these other nations too and even our own people you know those that have money but in particular the Edomite male which if you don't know who the Edomite you know the Edomites are that's uh, the self-proclaimed so-called white man all right that's their uh, biblical nationality all right they're uh, Esau Edom all right in the scriptures and uh, the point being though is the elder Malcolm he um made a, um, a statement which made complete sense the second I, I heard it from him that these uh, Edomite males, like I said in particular, they're going to start jumping out of their high rises, okay? You know, especially when the uh, economy starts crashing, which right now, you know, we're, you know, we're seeing that, okay? You know, you're seeing basically hyperinflation, all right, happening right before your eyes, even though they may uh, not say that it's hyperinflation on television, but when products are going up, you know, 30%, all right, you know, 25%, 40%, you know, gas has gone up over 100%, you know, in a year, that's pretty much hyperinflation, you know. Your wages can't keep up with, uh, with the cost of living, you know. You know, it's just evident. But uh, the point being, though, is um, with that being said, you know, you're going to have a lot of these um, you know, these wealthy, you know, well-to-do Edomites who, you know, that, you know, have money, but they're not of the uh, uh, elite class of Esau Edom, they're going to start losing their, you know, their wealth, and they're not going to know how to deal with it, so what they're going to do is kill themselves, all right? And like I said, the, the, the elder Malcolm has said, there's, a lot of these guys are just going to start, you know, jumping out of their, you know, condos, or, or out of their lofts, or in these high-rises. And, uh, you know, here's one example, okay? One example. Now, this guy was between 45 and 50. So, you know, he was a middle-aged man, okay? He's probably, you know, losing all his, you know, the things that he, you know, uh, that he worked for, so to speak, you know? You know he probably lost his job. He's probably, you know, do, he's not doing well in the stock market. He's losing money. You know, I'm pretty sure he, he he's, you know, if he's not divorced, he's on the brink of divorce, Okay? His kids don't like him, you know. They, you know, this is just an assum uh, you know, assumption, all right. But, but, you know, for the most part, it's on point, you know. So he, he this guy just said, you know, hell, the hell with life, you know. The hell with it, you know. And, and what's beautiful, you see, what's happening is the Lord, he's putting the curses that were on us Israelites, which we consist of the so-called black Latinos, Native Americans, you know, those curses that were put upon us are starting to come upon our enemies now. All right. And let's get that scripture. This is Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. And it reads here. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Okay. You see, the curses are falling upon our enemies. Now, you got to ask yourself, well, what curse, you know, what, 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 what curses are being put upon them? We have to jump to Deuteronomy 28. All right. For this particular curse. This is Deuteronomy 28, and we'll uh, start at 65, and it reads here, And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. You see, when we, the Israelites, all right, had these curses put upon us, all right, due to our disobedience and our rebellion, we, uh, we had the heathens, you know, conquer us, and we, you know, we, we haven't been able to find ease, you know, you know, we're always working, always having to hustle, always grinding. All right? And it says here, But the Lord Yahweh shall give thee there a failing, or trembling heart 
and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. Okay? And you see, that, that that's what, you know, Israelites go through. You know, we don't know whether we're coming or going. We're always trying to figure out how we're going to get, you know, by from day to day. You know, we're, we're always, you know, dealing with some type of, you know, affliction. Okay? You know? And you see... You know, the, we've been dealing with this for generations on, you know, on end. You know, generation after generation after generation. So this is something that's, you know, built in us in our culture, so to speak, right now. All right? So, you know, we're used to, you know, uh, having ups and downs. You know, we're used to, you know, you know, winning some days, you know, losing other days, so to speak. Okay? But you see, these Edomites, they're not used to that. All right? In particular, them, you know. Like I say, even these other heathens, they're not used to, get, you know, taking L's, man. All right? They're used to having everything go smooth, but see the Lord, He's starting to flip, uh, you know, the script now, all right. And you see now they're going through hell; they're they're catching it. And you see the difference between us and these heathens, all right, is that we're the strongest nation, so we deal with adversity very well for the most part, okay. You know, our nation as a whole deals with our you know adversity and our afflictions very very well, but see these heathens, they don't, okay. In particular, Esau, Edom. That's why the scriptures say what in uh, the book of Genesis that one nation, you know, the, the one shall be stronger than the other. OK, and that's going into the, uh, you know, the birth of Jacob and Esau. And Esau is that weaker nation. All right. And Jacob's that stronger nation. So with that being said, when the, when curses, when these curses fall upon Esau, they're not going to know how to deal with it. All right. And we're seeing that. Going back to this. This guy jumped out of the Trump Tower, man. Out of the, you know, 16th floor. All right. And this is going to become a new norm throughout the United States, all right? Throughout all these, you know, major cities. And I'll say this, you know, he, he, you may only hear about it a little here and a little there, but it's going to have it's going to be occurring more than you you think. The reason why they're not going to display this on the news is because they don't want to show that the Edomite male is losing and that he's um and that he's falling apart and that he's weak. You know, that you got to remember these are the uh, uh, these are the people that are in power right now and they don't want to like, you know, show any t sign of uh of uh, weakness. They don't want to show any sign of um you know, downgrade in their people. All right, but it's evident that they're losing, you know. And he saw like I said, this this, this these guys can't even, you know, take a a downgrade in life, so to speak, you know. If they're, you know, if they're not living that luxurious lifestyle, that they're just through. You know, that's why they end up, you know, doing the things they do, committing suicide, taking, the, you know, not only themselves out. Like, you'll have a, what do they call that, a, a murder suicide, you know, situation that they'll murder, you know, their whole family and then commit suicide. That that's just that's just the way it is with them, you know. All right. That's just the way it is with them. But this is a beautiful thing, you know, for, you know, uh, for us that are in this truth. Hey, we, we, we're, we're seeing the downfall of this kingdom. These people aren't doing too well. And mm -hmm. we're doing, you know, doing great. All right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Al Shai. You know, hey, we, we, we should be rejoicing at the downfall of our enemies. And that's a, actually, that's a scripture. You know, I'll end it off with that. There we go. Let's end it off with this. This is Sirach 25 and 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I uttereth with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. See, the, you should be happy that, 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 that you're seeing this. This should bring joy in your heart. You know, if you're a righteous man, it's beautiful seeing, you know, our enemies you know, uh, uh, fall and collapse right before our eyes, you know? Hey, they rejoiced in our downfall, you know? So we should be doing the same thing. See, now the tables are turning. The Lord, you know, the Lord set up, you know, Esau for, for you know, a time period. So they were able to get the victory, you know, over us for a period of time. But at the end of the day, look, hey, they, they won, you know, I'll put it like this. They won battles, right? But we're going to win the war. 
Okay, at the end of the day, the Lord is going to allow us to win the war, you know. And this is just beautiful, like I said. Let's go back to it. <laughs> Esau jumping, you know, to his death. This is beautiful, man. They call Loin La Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right. But, you know, I'm going to end off this lesson. You know, I just wanted to, you know, update brothers with this. Hopefully, this brings, you know, some joy to your heart, puts a smile on your face. The hell with these Edomites. They're going down. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all your brothers. Shalom.